Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to play Pokemon Battle Revolution on a Dolphin emulator with custom battle passes. I did a while ago, like five years ago, a Pokemon Battle Revolution video, how to play custom battle passes, but uh, there's always been complaining, uh, people complaining that it doesn't work how it's supposed to be and people cannot create custom battle passes. I don't know why. I tried myself, it works, but I think because I didn't go full to detail. So in this video guys, we're going to go full detail and show you step by step how to do it and how you get the job done without anything further ado guys i'm gonna see you on my desktop and we're gonna start this tutorial let's do this all right guys i draw my desktop right now the first thing you're gonna need for this tutorial are dolphin emulator pokemon battle revolution rum also the game pk hex the hotness if you want to create your own pokemon uh, pbr save file and 7-zip or WinRAR. Now I'm going to provide you with those files down in the description below. I'm going to leave links where you can get direct and easy access to them. The only thing that you cannot provide you with is the Pokemon Battle Revolution game or RAM. Um, now we're going to the site here. I mean to my internet browser. So Dolphin, you will going to download this version here, the better version guys. If you want more future features, Go for the development version, but if you want like a stable version that I use, it's the beta version, guys. It will be updated every month, and this is going to be updated every uh, single time they change something. But this is the most stable one, so you go for this one. If you have Windows uh, 64 bit, uh, uh, yeah, and this is Windows IM ROM, don't bother about that. Go for this one. The second thing is you're going to be provided with this here, this link as well. This is the PK Hex program where you can moderate and change and do whatever you want, crazy things with your Pokemon. Okay, no part intended. Download, you go here, download this file, and you're good to go. Next, you're gonna be directed to this site. It's gonna be as well down in the, in the link in the description below. Download whatever version you want in whatever language. If you have Windows systems always, go for this one here, 64-bit or 32-bit, it depends on what uh, operating uh, uh, program you have. Mine is 64, I go for 64, and you have 32, you go for 32. The next one is the special save file for Pokemon Battle Revolution. Without this save file, guys, you will not be able to do custom passes or like make your own Pokemon, you know? So this is gonna be this one. Just click on download and it's gonna download. And for the game file, for the game Pokemon Battle Revolution, as you might see here, Google is your best friend. I literally, see that? Google is your best friend. More than that, I cannot give you. Unfortunate YouTube uh, policy and Nintendo gonna go after your boy. And, uh, with anything further ado guys, let's start this tutorial. So let's say you have Dolphin Emulator, probably installed. You have the RAM. I apologize for the notifications. With all the jazz out of the way guys, the first thing we're gonna need to do here guys, you go to your Dolphin Emulator as I do. Wait for it a little bit. Uh, you go for your game. Just start the game. And uh, we don't need any controller. You will be able to play the game fully controlled with your mouse. And it's gonna be a re um, wired already from the emulator. Press start. It's gonna say there's no save file. It's okay. Choose whatever you want. I don't know what even this is. I go for this one here. And go for Colosseum mode. New game, whatever, doesn't matter which user you use. Just keep in mind, I provided you with a save file. Uh, go whatever name, I just gonna go for uh, AMU, EM, OSM, and you, there it is. Confirm, yes, all that doesn't matter, but we need to do it to get where we want to get, right? It will go through the game, let it roll, you cannot skip, I wish they could. This is the last time where I skipped and people like, oh, 
one doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm, I'm getting like that. Why? Have any questions? Just don't listen. Skip that. Skip. Skip her. Here you can choose. And fun fact, if you want to shine a hunt, you can even shine a hunt for, for battle pass. I'm going to take those. Choose whatever you want. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to play with those. Okay, good luck. With this, go to directly to save and save the game. She's going to explain as always because it's the first time. All right, as you're done explaining, click save game. And yes, wait for the game to save. All right, continue playing, just quit. Don't tell you thank you very much. And get out of the game. Just click, press escape and get out of the emulator. Now what you need to do to see it's actually worked, click on, right click on, uh, left click on the game file, just only once, then like highlight it, then right click and go to open Wii U save folder. If you see Genius PBR and you see PBR save data, then you did everything right. Go out of it. Oops, I think I have uh, enabled uh, HDR. Uh, anyways, so what you need to do now, guys, we need to go to Pokemon save file. But before we do that, uh, actually, we do we need we need to go to Pokemon Pokemon PBR save file. So. I already provide in this save file guys I provided you with all the Pokemons that you're probably gonna need literally 30 boxes are full but with battle ready Pokemon with items with stats and thingies and stuff and things but if you like want any shinies like specifically and whatnot then um, keep watching but if not I gonna you can skip this part if you're happy with Pokemon I provide you with as I said, literally 30 boxes. So, in this case, let's see you want your own. I'm gonna open here PKX and I'm gonna open this one. Just open PKX like this, just like I did. All right, take PBR save file, open this one. Just drag it, oops. Just drag it in. And you might see, as you see here, guys, as I told you, I literally provided you with 18 boxes. Look at this of competitive Pokemon. And there's probably everyone, all 400. I don't know. Anyways, let's see. As I said, you want your own, right? You want to make your own. Um, just click right, right click on the Pokemon that you don't want, delete it. And let's see, we go for, you go here, we go for Bulbasaur because he's the goat. There we go. Bulbasaur, right? You want a shiny, click on this. Oops, is it shiny already? It is. No, maintain, there's the shiny. Yeah. So let's say you want a shiny, guys, click on this here. You want to give it a nickname. Just best. Oops. I no, I don't know. Emu. Right. Uh, Eevee's experience. You want to give it better levels. Let's go 50. Competitive here. Whatever. Jolly nature. We're gonna outspeed people. Here you can change the Pokemon whatnot, not really important. Here you can go for the stats. Max all the stats to 31. I'm just going fast here, nothing too special guys. And here you can EVs, IVs, whatever. You can go HP 252 and special attack uh, <laughs> 252 and like, I don't know two in speed and then the moves just click on here oops click up here you can have legit move sets and you can have like crazy oops hold up do this and type whatever you want to flamethrower like this and 
hydro pump on this thing. Um, hold up. Call mind and uh, solar beam. Perfect. Best setup. And here it's it's up to you. Customize things. When you're all done and ready and happy with your build, just right click uh, on this empty field and inside this thing. Let's say you're done with everything, you make, you update it, you, you, you put all the Pokemon in, you go to file, export, save, and you, you really relocate it, you relocate the save file. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do desktop, Pokemon save file, Pokemon background save file, click on it and it's going to tell you the people are safe already exist you want to replace it you want to do that and you click ok you close your you close your pk hex program and now you're going for the third part now you go for the your save file that you modified it's already modified but you like you put whatever you wanted in uh, click on copy or you can cut it depends on go to dolphin em your dolphin emulator once again highlight pokemon battle revolution right click and go open save file folder go to genius pbr minimize that and just right click and in um it's going to ask you to replace the file with this nation yes do so and we're done that's all it guys that's all to it there's nothing more you need to do after that I really think, yes, start your game. And uh, you should be golden. There's not, yes, the HDR. I have literally HDR enabled. Just click through it. All right, you're back at it. Click on it. It's gonna read. But now it has detected the save file. If you click now on close you mode, it's gonna tell you new game and continue. Just click on continue, and you're gonna name, you're gonna be uh, presented with this save file here name Mahe. Playtime zero. It literally no, it doesn't play even the game. Just go in. So hello my welcome back to Pocket Pokemon Battle, Pocketopia, whatever. And now you just can go to battle pass and as you can see it's whitish she's gonna explore, always explain so after the explaining guys just go to custom pass would you have do, done it with your own save file and modified in pokemon and pick hacks it wouldn't work it wouldn't show up in white it would show up like this so anyways just want to give you the details here after she has explained everything go to custom pass and you see custom pass created by using blank pass choose design like use the direction pass now you can choose whatever design you want i choose always this one click on create a custom pass confirm what choose whatever trainer you want let's see can i choose yeah you can choose like whatever trainers you want i go for this one here um hold up there we go confirm now here you can enter your name, so it's Tommy, yeah, I'm not Tommy, but hey, we go, we, 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 we can be, we can get late, uh, where is it, yeah, oh god, M, and you, so, confirm it, yes, and that's how you do it, it's done. Just click 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 now go with the cursor on those on those empty ones now if you go into the first box guys remember Bulbasaur MU level 50 uh, check moves flame tour call mine solar beam and hydro pump so big back big back so let's select just put set got it in let's select more you see guys I got provide you with all the Pokemon you need uh, let's get the shaman to here. Set this one. Um, here's something maybe cool. Uh, Raichu. Right 
deliberate just for the sake of the video there is maybe a the thick cat here properly and maybe something dope let's see here three licks let's go and if you're happy oops if you're happy with your build just back back and back again now you go to battling she wanna again explain so after explaining guys click Colosseum battle now guys, here we are going to be going to as well explain one one more thing before we end this video. So now if you go to getaway, if you go to getaway Colosseum, rental battle, it says rental battle. That means even if you have custom, pa custom pass, you cannot use it. It's acquired. The rules are acquired for rental battles. But in some areas, arenas, knockout battles here as example, it says only main street Colosseum knockout battle, standard battle, will battle against Colosseum leader and beat six old trainers. Now if you click on challenge here, confirm, you see, you can use your pets, you, you can use your custom and you can use your rental. Now if you go back, back up again. The way if you go now this rental one and you go for challenge and you go for confirm you can see which rental pass would like borrow a new pass or use rental pass it doesn't give you the option you see the option is is grayed out and you can only use the cost and pass so in case people are gonna complain oh I can't do battle pass or I can't game that doesn't let me use it just want to tell you why and to prove you that you can use actually rental Pokemon, confirm. Just click on it, use this one, and we good. Boom. Just click, skip. Let's take the Bulbasaur. Let's get the Charmander, and let's take the Raichu. We done. That's it. It is, guys. I hope I explained as good as I could. The graphics and whatnot settings, uh, I think you can uh, do Pokitopia it and you, if you want me. Uh, you are really a little bit more even full detailed on the emulator itself. You let me know. So my C, 50, level 100. I might die here. Have you gone for <laughs> flame for? What are you gonna do? Natural gift. I'm not here. Just for the fun sake, flame tour Bulbasaur. Only on this channel, guys, come on. Alright. Of course, the, bet, the, the level difference uh, as well, of course. But with, uh, with that all said, guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day, Morales. Keep it cool, stay awesome. My name is Emu from Emu Gaming. Hey, not bring out here. Peace.